Leading figures in Poland and the European Union are in Gdansk today, where they are paying their respects to the city's late mayor, Pavel Adamowicz, who was fatally stabbed while on stage at a charity event last Sunday. The murder of the liberal politician is believed to have been politically motivated. Adamowicz is being remembered for his civic engagement in his hometown and for his willingness to speak up about his convictions. Not even the cavernous St. Mary's Church could provide enough space for the mourners in Gdansk. Thousands lined the streets to pay their respects to Pavel Adamowicz, their former mayor and a man who embodied liberal values at a time of political rancor in Poland. Some wept as they watched the service on specially erected big screens. Amid the sorrow, there was fear for the future. It's very sad that we've come here together under these circumstances. We can't allow our society to be divided. The assassination last Sunday shows us where that leads. I'm here to take a stand against aggression in our society and because I want to honour the man who was our mayor for 20 years. Our society is rife with aggression, nationalism and xenophobia. I see it every day. Inside the church, the Polish Prime Minister looked on as the Archbishop of Gdansk echoed the calls for unity, saying Adamowicz's death was a bell calling for alarm. The presence of European Council President and ex-Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk, himself a Gdansk native, was a reminder too of Adamowicz's continued belief in the European Union. He was a man of Gdansk, a Pole, but also a European, one who believed in European values above all, freedom and solidarity. Pavel Adamowicz was laid to rest on Saturday in the city in whose service he had spent his life. Many hope that his violent death, allegedly at the hands of a political opponent, will prove a catalyst in healing the country's divisions. Joining us now live from Gdansk is DW correspondent Monica Ziratska. Uh, Monica, we understand you're outside the church where the funeral is taking place. What have people there been telling you? Well, many of uh, the people who came here um, to Gdańsk from all over Poland and from other countries are still deeply shocked after the tragedy with, uh, which happened six days ago in Gdańsk. They don't really find an answer, uh, any answer on question, how is it possible that it could happen in Poland today, uh, in the heart of Europe? And uh, the people are uh, have uh, a memory of uh, Pavel Adamowicz, who is buried to, uh, today, uh, as uh, of a person who was open-minded, tolerant, and uh, wanted, to, wanted to invite to the city of Gdańsk many different people from different cultures. Uh, also, during the uh, funeral ceremonies today, uh, representatives for, for, uh, from different uh, religion, uh, religion, uh, religious minorities living in Gdańsk uh, pray, uh, prayed, for, pro, uh, prayed for him. Uh, so uh, the people here will miss Paweł Adamowicz, who was uh, one of the most important uh, liberal voices, liberal progressive voices in Poland uh, today, which is now under rule of the National Conservative Government. I think I, I, we can all understand why people are looking for answers to their questions on the ground there in Gdansk. Let me ask a question to you, though. Is it too early at this point to talk about all this having a wider European significance? Well, I'm sure that it has a wider European significance uh, of many reasons. Uh, not only Poland is a country which is deeply divided, uh, but also many other countries in Europe uh, are now uh, divided. And uh, these political divisions is, uh, are something which for many politicians also in, in Poland and in Europe uh, in their opinion, can it, be, it can be dangerous. It can cause a lead to uh, an atmosphere of hate, uh, which can lead also to such criminal uh, and barbaric acts like this political uh, murder in Poland in Gdańsk six uh, days ago. So that's the reason also why uh, different politicians from other countries are here today. Uh, also the Polish high-ranking uh, politicians like prime minister and, and, and president are attending, but also Donald Tusk, who was 
a close friend to the assassinated mayor who comes also from Gdańsk, is now uh, the president of the European Council. He is here and also the former president of Germany, Joachim Gauck, many uh, and many mayors of uh, German and other cities in Europe. This is uh, a message going here from Poland today, from Gdańsk, uh, a warning uh, to, many Euro to the European people and a call to end political divisions and to uh, have more tolerance and understanding. Okay, thank you for that, Monica Ziradska in Gdańsk.